prepare phase. And there we use our 1040 scan tax document automation tool or, or scan and populate tool to automatically organize uh, source documents and extract their data, put it into the tax software. Uh, 1040 scan is differentiated in many ways, uh, including automating way more documents than any other system. Not just, you know, more types of documents and more formats. For instance, we automate over 500 brokerage statements versus 100 for other systems, meaning like Merrill Lynch, E-Trade, et cetera, 500 different brokerage statements. But we also automate, uh, extract data from those documents that nobody else does. So for instance, other scan and populate systems will extract the 1099 summary amounts on page one and perhaps the capital gain detail, but they won't pull out the other details like foreign income, investment fees, um, <clears throat> you know, margin interest, uh, and so on. And 1040 scan does, it goes through and pulls out all of those details from the documents. So you don't need to go through and do that manually. And then it, covers documents that just no other system does. For instance, 1040 scan is the only system that extracts data from state K1s or from grantor letters or extracting data from the organizer pages of software, of tax software. Not even tax software scan and populate systems extract data from the handwritten organizer pages uh, that, that their clients uh, fill out. So uh, obviously this type of solution is meant to automate and if it can automate more documents, it's it's going to have a greater impact on your business. So once the documents are all uploaded, you can go ahead and you can create the binder that we were talking about, which is what you'll use to prepare and review the work papers. Now, in this case, um, I already have a binder. That's why you see this button says open binder. But if I hadn't created a binder yet, then Instead of saying open binder, this button would say create binder. Uh, since this binder is already created, um, I have the option to add more documents to it. And I can go ahead and select documents that are in tax caddy. And notice that the documents that have already been added to this binder are grayed out, grayed out and checked. So I can't add the same document twice. I can only add documents that I have not yet added into my work paper binder. Now you might ask, you know, why wouldn't I put everything in my binder? Think about tax caddy as being the envelope that you used to send to your clients and get back with all of the source documents. And sometimes they gave you documents that weren't needed. Maybe it was a monthly bank statement or a retirement account statement that didn't impact their return. And so maybe, you know, the in the paper days, you wouldn't have even taken a copy or a scan of that document. You would have just returned it to your client. So similarly, we can't assume that everything that the client uploads, you're going to want to have in your work papers. So this allows you to just add to your work papers what's needed versus everything that the, that the taxpayer uploads. Once the binder is created, um, you know, then the documents go to 1040 scan and the data gets, uh, the documents get OCR, they get organized in this binder and the data gets extracted to the tax software. 